I'm Stephanie, the president and founder of Micromedia Marketing, and I'm going to go over how to easily add a Facebook tag to your business page. And you can only do this on a business page. You cannot do it on a personal page. So I highly recommend having a business page for your company. So I'm going to use our client PeopleWater as an example because um, they wanted to set one up themselves today. So you can just go into Facebook and search HTML. This static HTML app has uh, 20 million users. It's pretty easy. You can also use other ones. There's a ton. Uh, Woobox is another one that's highly used. Uh, but basically, you click on it, and then you select Go to App, and you're going to follow the directions, um, and I'm going to walk you through it. So you select Add Static HTML to a Page, and then in this case, I'm going to select People Water. And I'm going to select, you have to click again, add static HTML. So normally if you wanted to add an image or a video, you're going to have to add an HTML code. Um, it's also going to show up here in your tabs as a welcome. But you can change the image and um, it's being a little buggy, but I'll show it to you. You can change the image and the name of the tab. But you can go to edit page and update info. You're going to go to the apps and you'll see what I was talking about which is the little star and it normally says welcome. So you want to edit and um, the custom tab name in this case is going to be um, where to buy and then you're going to change the image if you don't want it to be a star. Um, in this case we have a nice image that we want to use. And it's been updated. And then we go back to the, the page and we go to the app section where we're going to insert the code. Still giving me a couple issues. I'm going to save that. Okay, so basically, if you use WordPress and you upload an image or you upload a video um, in the source, you'll have all the code that you need. Ideally, you want to make something clickable. So, we made this image clickable by hyperlinking it here, and we hyperlinked it here as well. So I'm just going to copy all the source code that we have here. And then I'm going to go back to the page. And hopefully it's not being buggy anymore, which Facebook does at times. There's more than one tab here. So when I select it, there we go. We can click on the tab, which is where to buy. And what's going to appear once it shows up, here we go, is where we, we paste the code. And we can preview and see that we have the Find Your Peeps and that they can click on shopping online and everything that we wanted to upload. So we're going to actually save that. Hold on a second. Now you're going to see this as code, but your fans are going to see what you're actually uploading and you can preview that. We're going to select save changes. Actually, it looks like they updated this tab where you can actually upload an image without needing the code, so that'll be even easier for you. And then you have another option that when someone clicks like, they see another message. Generally, what people do with that is add an email sign up. Um, it used to be a lot better before the timeline update, but it still works if you direct people to that landing page. Um, now I want to see what this looks like, so I'm going to log in to another account because um, we have quite a few. And I'm going to log in and take a look at what the new tab looks like.
to someone that's a fan. And Okay, so you can see it says get water delivered to your front door by shopping online. I'm going to click on it to test it and it is going to the shop tab. We're going to update this with a map when we have it ready and it says stay tuned for the locator. But yes, everything is working and the only thing I want to update is I'm going to go back into the other account. It looks like that image that we shared um, for the preview wasn't didn't actually update. So you want to always test your tabs and make sure that everything that you add is, you know, the way you want it to be with you want to have an image because you want to have people that you know, they ask us a lot where to buy. So that's something that's very important for this page. You want to have things that are relevant. You know, if you're a restaurant, you want to have your menu. If you're a gym, you want to have your gym schedule. In this case, people always want to know, um, you know, where to buy. So let me go back here. There's a, two things I'm going to do with this tab. One is I'm going to make sure that I go and update that image, which I had done, but maybe it didn't save properly. Okay, so we go to edit settings, change custom tab image. It did change, you see, so sometimes you just got to give it some time. It's there. I see it there. I knew we saved it. So we'll play around with it a little more, but it will update soon. And then the other thing we want to do is we want to move the placement of the tab. You kind of need to think of this as like, the way I look at tabs are the way I look at links on your website and you know having all that important information for people to find within Facebook here we go and what you do is you scroll over and I'm actually gonna swap this out with likes so it's gonna change positions and go to the top so people are gonna see where to buy like they can see the likes right here at the left side so I think that's enough and one of the most important things is for people to see where to buy and our events are important as well so that's why we choose the, posi the positioning of that I'm gonna keep on um, checking and make sure that the image previews the one that we designed that says um, you know fi find your peeps so that'll be updated soon and it'll be a nice graphic and then people will be able to see their number one question, which is where can they buy people water? So if you have any questions about social media, you can tweet with the hashtag AskMicroStep, or you can go to our website, micromediamarketing.com, and click the Contact Us section, and we would be more than happy to make a video and answer your social media qu questions. Thank you.